Linda from Flamagerie Zangari. I'm back in the kitchen with Melanie Bowden from Grow Your Roots Cafe. Yeah. Thanks so much for having us here today. Yes, we are going to make a delicious vegan version of a tofu eggs benny. So this is definitely a good recipe to give a shot to. Stay tuned. Instead of an English muffin, um, and we are going to be using the Zenberry sun dried tomato basil for this. So it's, that's where we get the cheese flavor from uh, to go with our eggs and our really nice holiday sauce that we're going to make after this as well. Amazing. Um, so, a fairly simple recipe we've got just our dry ingredients here so our flour, our baking powder, our sea salt, and just a tiny bit of sugar. Um, and so you just want to give that a, a nice whisk to get everything combined. We'll have the recipe down in the in the links below, so you can take that recipe home and try this recipe out for yourself. Yeah. Um, so we've just got a non-dairy butter here. I prefer the Earth Balance uh, brand to make everything, so you can get that at most grocery stores. Do you want that to be cold? Yes, yeah, so you definitely want to make sure it's a nice cold, so that when you're working with your hands uh, to get all the butter incorporated, that it doesn't heat up and get to a melting point on you or too soft on you. All right. Um, so you can cut it ahead of time. I've just got some chunks here. So I like to actually just kind of bunch it into, break it yeah, break it up into some nice size pieces here. It's about a cup. Uh, we've got two thirds of a cup of non-dairy butter here. Right? Now, do you make your flour cold and everything cold, or just make sure that your your just the butter is cold. Yeah, the butter and actually the soy milk you want okay. to get cold too because that will make a difference as well. Now, do you find a difference if you use soy milk versus almond milk or coconut milk? I find soy milk is the best, um, but I have used almond milk in this and it works just fine. Okay. Yeah. All right, and I've just got a pastry cutter here. So if you don't have a pastry cutter at home, no worries. Um, you can just use a fork to do it as well. For those two nine things my mom yeah. used to do. Yeah. There's lots of variations. You don't have to have all the fancy tools at home. I used one of those to make my guacamole though. Yes. Really so good. Really, really good. Candy. Food processor oh, to yeah. make guacamole. So it's a little extra creamy. Though. So mm -hmm. good. All right. So at this point, we've got everything um, kind of in a, a bigger chunk. You kind of see bigger chunks in there. This with my pie crust as well. I learned from another professional baker uh, to just kind of get your hands in there and just work everything around to get the right texture. Yeah, to make them nice and flaky. Exactly. Okay. All right. So that's looking pretty good there. And our, for our next step, I also like to use my hands for this too. Um, but a fork or a spatula will work well. Okay. Um, so you just get a nice little well going on in the center there. All right. And we've just got soy milk here, but like I said, you can do almond milk as well, or try another different type of plant milk at home as well. So just pour all that in there into the center of our flour mixture. And just kind of start from the outside and gathering everything into the center. You don't want to handle it too much. Is that no, right? yeah, you don't want to overwork your dough too much, otherwise you're going to end up with some really hard biscuits. All the tricks of the trade. Yes. Luckily, this is a fairly forgiving recipe too, though, so um, you shouldn't have too much trouble with that at home. Our so this makes perfect. Eggs Benny is one of the things that you do at the restaurant. Yeah, right? it's actually my personal favorite dish. Mm -hmm. I come. If I'm not here working in the kitchen on Sundays, the staff knows I order it every Sunday, get the tofu eggs ready. Okay. Um, so it's a little bit different than the one that we're doing here today, but it is my favorite dish. 
Um, and we've got our beautiful uh, buttermilk biscuits as the base. Mm -hmm. um, and a really nice house-made rich holiday sauce on top. So it's, it's so a You really guys got to make your way out to Canada. Yes, and Sunday brunch. brunch. Sunday brunch at Grow Your Roots Cafe. Yes. So I've got our dough here um, for the most part mixed. And then you just kind of want to, like uh, you mentioned, you don't want to overwork your dough too much. So I'm just going to put some clumps in here into the dough. So that's our sun-dried tomato and basil fromage. Actually my favorite. Ooh. Secondary cheese. Good to know. And so I'm just doing a gentle fold just to kind of get that incorporated in there. I guess you could use another flavor. Like what if you use our ALH cheddar flavor in there? That would yes. be good too. Yes. Yeah, any of your favorite cheese. Cheese really. I just put this under a tomato because you typically have tomatoes um, on your on your eggs bunny, so it kind of goes with a little bit, but any of the cheeses I think will be awesome in it. Um, so we've got our dough here. I'm just give a light sprinkle of flour to your work surface so that you don't have anything sticking on you. And the nice thing about this recipe is you don't even have to have a rolling pin to roll this out. Oh, sweet. You're just gonna do a gentle flatten. Make sure it's not too thick, otherwise you're gonna get crispy on the outside, but uncooked on the inside. Okay, so that's about, what, an inch? Yeah, I would thick. say about three quarters of an inch thick or so. Okay. Um, so I've got that going, and then I've got a nice big biscuit cutter here, but you can go whichever size you prefer. I'm just gonna cut all these guys up. And at this point, you wanna be preheating your oven to uh, 350 as well. Just get these guys on here. Beautiful. Do you need to like brush them with anything? I actually don't brush oh, them with anything. Um, <laughs> I actually don't brush them with anything, but if you if you want to, you can give a little soy milk brush okay. on there, yeah. And then if you do have a little bit of extra dough left over, um, you can refold that in and get one or two more. Just don't rework it more than the second time, otherwise okay. your biscuits aren't going to turn out very nice for you. And I rub. Yeah, exactly. So you can get one or two more out of that, but at least six for your batch. And then we're just going to pop those in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on your oven. But as long as you get a nice, um, like, golden crispiness on the top as well as the bottom, you know they're good to go. But you can stick the toothpick. Use the toothpick trick on them too to just be sure you've got it fully cooked all the way through. So you're gonna bake them at 350 or? Yeah, uh, sorry, I believe 375. Yeah. 375 for about 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 right. to 12 minutes, again, depending on your oven, everyone's is different, so. Not sure. too long at all, easy process. Yes. All right, so now we're gonna make the hollandaise sauce, oh, the I best love part. Sauce. So a nice non-dairy egg-free hollandaise sauce. Mm. And for that, you're going to use the creamy Swiss Zengari. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get that started. We've got, again, our non-dairy butter here, so earth balanced butter. Um, we're gonna get that into our pot, just on a low medium heat, so we can get nice and melty for us. Oh, maybe. And then, a little bit, I guess it'll be about half the package. Maybe Swiss, so you can save the rest for something else. Mm -hmm. We just want to get that nice and melted, and then uh, to thicken it back up, uh, to bring it to a nice creamy holiday sauce, we're going to use brown rice flour. Um, but you could also use all-purpose flour um, or a different type of flour. Okay. Um, but I, what I really like about this recipe, though, is this should be, you know, typically this is a lot of stuff that you already have at home to make this sauce. Um, and to kind of give it that nice, rich flavor, we're using nutritional yeast, mm -hmm. so that's a, a good staple to covered as well. For sure. Um, and lots of variations, like I said, the flour, you can use different types of plant milk as well. And this will also work with uh, coconut oil instead of butter. Um, you just have to make sure you're using a refined coconut oil so you don't have that coconut taste to it, right? It will work really nicely as well. So we've got, just bringing everything to a melt here. And don't worry too much if you've got little kind of uh, chunks or bits in there because at the end we're going to put it through a sieve so that it has a nice oh, um, smart. creamy texture to it. So essentially we're making a, a nice roux here for our base. 
And then I've got some freshly squeezed lemon juice going in here. Mm. And then you're just whisking as you go as well. Right. And then some nice Dijon mustard. Gives it a nice, sharp, rich flavor to it. Add salt in here, or I leave out salt as okay. a reference. Um, we don't add salt to our hollandaise here either, but if it's something that you like, or even just to put it on the top of your finished product, okay, good too. But I think that there's enough saltiness in the nutritional yeast, um, and even kind of that saltiness from the cheese too that kind of makes up for that. True. Um, so I've got our brown rice flour here. Adding that in. Tablespoons. Yeah, a couple tablespoons of ground rice flour. And again, the holidays recipe is going to be below in the comment section in the um, you call it show notes. So I've got soy milk here, but you can uh, switch it up for different uh, plant milks. So I just find soy milk is the best. It's the most neutral and creamy to get uh, a nice texture and consistency for this. Okay. And you're just gradually adding it in. So it doesn't get all clumped up. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So about two or three batches, and just whisking as, as it goes, making nice. sure that you've got it again on the low heat so you don't get anything burnt on the bottom. Great. Right. Rest in there. It already looks amazing. Yes, and you know what? This is a really good base for like any creamy sauce. If you leave out the nooch, this looks like a really good creamy pasta sauce. Oh yeah. Spot, too. So that's the best thing about a roux is that you can do so many things with it. Right. So we've got beautiful consistency going on here right now. That's what we want. And so the last step is just to get your spices in there. So I've got our nutritional yeast, uh, for flavor, pepper, and then just a little bit of turmeric for color. Right. Nice yellow, rich color um, instead of our egg yolks. Turmeric is so good for you too. Exactly. Antioxidant. Just a little bit what we've got here, we'll alter the taste too. You don't have to worry about it tastes like turmeric or anything like that. Right. All right. Beautiful. So here we are. Nice, thick, creamy sauce. So then you strain that. Yeah, so I always put it through the sieve. I just find it makes a little bit of difference, especially because we did add the flour in it too. And then, like I said, if you do get any kind of clumps in there, you had it too high or something, this will take care of that. Okay. So just pass that right through. Smart. So we get you making like a real chef going on here. Yeah. <laughs> you need some lessons. So you can lessons here too, don't you? Yeah, we do. So if you subscribe to our emailing list on our website, you'll be able to keep updated with any, uh, we send out any notifications of any cooking demos that we're doing. Our next one coming up, we're doing a meat-free meats. So we're going to have two to three variations of some really, really tasty um, meat substitutes that you can make at home uh, for lots of different meals. We'll have some meal options as well. So Nice. And then you get those. to eat after the... You always get samples in okay. our cooking demos and we usually like coffee, some desserts here and there too. So, nice. so yeah, it's a fun night. Right here at the cafe too. So it's, if you've never been here before, it's a good opportunity to kind of check the place out and take a look at our menu and everything. So it's great. So I'm just gonna set this aside and I'm gonna put this actually back on. Just do it in a hot pot. You don't have to turn it on or anything, just to keep that hot while you're getting everything else prepared for your eggs. For our eggs, Benny. Toast with eggs, Benny. Yes. All right, so we've got our beautiful fluffy scones or biscuits just out of the oven here. Um, so we're gonna got our nice plate of home fries here. We're gonna put everything together. So I'll give this a cut. These are still hot from the oven. So cut that in half. Place it down here on your plate. I don't even find that you need to butter your biscuit or anything like that. You've got enough richness from the sauce. You don't have to worry about that. So just this is according to my preferences, but put, you know, maybe some nice avocado on the bottom mm -hmm. or some mm -hmm. vegan some sausage green. or, you know, anything like that underneath. Some fresh tomato. And then I've just got a marinated kind of fried tofu egg going on here. Oh, wow. All right. And then mm -hmm. hollandaise the sauce. Ooh, that looks so good. 
put that in chorizo on Is there such a thing as too much hollandaise sauce? No. If you have lots, put it all over your home fries. Oh yeah. Save it for like a breakfast wrap, for some prep for lunches throughout the week. Drizzle that on top of some scramble in a breakfast wrap. Mm -hmm. Always some fresh cracked pepper on top. Ooh. And then I've got some beautiful microgreens here. Or some fresh parsley on top is really nice too. What kind of sprouts are those? Those are purple karate sprouts. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, they're awesome. And there we have it. Breakfast is served. And Belle's special tofu benny recipe is going to be on our website. So check the link below and yes. get that recipe and try this out at home. Yes. Thanks yes. so much, Mel. That's yes. amazing. Yes, nice to dive in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm.